whoa. Tell me you about the wreck, Noble Red. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the eighth episode of Sympho Gear XV. And today, Carol is about to fucking wreck Noble Red. Like, yo, it's been hinted that Carol's so, supposed to come back. But, oh my god, I, I still can't get over it. I really can't get over it. I always doubted that Carol wasn't going to make a return. So the fact that she's actually here, and it's like, bro, is she going to erase her memories? Yo, shout out to the people in the comment section for always talking to me giving me that knowledge because yo to the fact that carol got a new song i'm pretty sure her phonic game is gonna be strong enough to take care of fucking noble red so yo shout outs to the people in the comment section for always getting your boy up to date with some of the knowledge of cell phone girl i fucking love you guys dead ass but with all that being said damn i didn't even say my name all oh, fuck yo it's your boy turtle oblivion aka black rascal on the work and speaking what's really good your boy is hype like y'all don't understand dog i've been working friday and saturday i had to leave early as fuck because i'm like i got to see this episode son i was literally going 100 miles per hour on the freeway and i got people hitting me up on twitter telling me yo this episode is fucking dope discord this episode is fucking dope man yo fuck all that noise it's about that time yo sakuta play that intro <laughs> Let's fucking go. We got the recap. Like, y'all don't understand, boy. I got the house to myself so I can be as loud as I want in this fucking episode. Let's fucking. Oh, Snagari got fucking body. Don't touch our small elf nine. Yo, bring her out. Yo, this the fucking scene. Ah! That's how you know Carol's back. And that scene. The fucking door dupla. Play that fucking music, Carol. Let's go. Ah! Let's fucking go. All these GX reference, bro. Fuck it, another miracle? Let her know. Let her fucking know. Damn right. Let's fucking go. That's Carol. The doll. <laughs> and she got a new song. Let's fucking go. Body all them. Right now, Carol. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, this needs to... Yo. She feels sympathy. I'm like... Yo. What the fuck? Yo, she don't even have her hands up. That's how old she is. She didn't even have her hand up to do the fucking barrier. Yo, she's so OD! <laughs> Yo, let's go! She gave her a new fucking song. Let's go. Body Mellow Art. Yo, look at this! Get this shit out my face! You're fucking trash! Let's fucking go! If you can't destroy those strands, you ain't touching Carol, bro! Oh, shit! Okay, you going all out. I feel you on that, chan. But that ain't got shit to do with Carol. Carol about to go in. Let's go. Yo. Yo, Mayu, I, been, I played her fucking theme multiple times during the indie credit of fucking uh, last week's episode. Oh, my God. Whew. Gendro like, <laughs> bro, they, he don't want to do it, bro. I understand. He don't want to do it. Just in case y'all got to fight that fucking, that fucking God monster. Chill, Chris. Yo. She's as strong as she was in GX. This is fucking wild. Yo. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's go. My songs don't come cheap. <laughs> but we got to wait till January 8th to hear this song. The full version, at least. <laughs> oh, she bodied they ass. That's, that's wild. <laughs> She's so... 
Oh, so F9 is still conscious. Oh, shit. Yo. What? Yo, this is literally awesome. Yugi and a Tim shit. That's wild. Yo, fucking Carol and Elf 9 are literally fucking. Yo, this is literally a Yu Gi Oh reference, bro. They switch bodies. And then, yo, Carol's like, okay, let me use my actual power. Fucking Elf 9's, yo, I'm your conscious. Chill. Don't go off the shits. We gotta do this. We gotta do this the right way. Yo, this is fucking dope, bro. Yo, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. <laughs> fucking Carol. <laughs> This body is mine. I would save you. <laughs> fucking Sundari. Bro, Carol was never the fucking bad guy, yo. She was just misunderstood about everything, bro. Oh, my God. This is so good. Who that? Oh, snap. <laughs> yo. Everybody's shook. Everybody's fucking shook right now. Is that really Carol? The same Carol we fought in GX. Yo. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't expecting her to be this calm talking to the Siphon Gear users. <laughs> but if necessary, it's possible to return. The pay the rental fee for her body until. Yo! <laughs> Carol so fucking. Oh my god. Yo, Carol is so fucking sassy, dog. You're going to destroy the big guy here. But Hibiki's down for the count, though. Unless you get Hibiki's gun near. Like, I would think that, you know, maybe Maria would take Hibiki's gun near and utilize it in order to have the god slaying power. But... What the fuck? Oh, I'm about to say, yo, he's in the intercom with them. I'm about to say, bro, holy shit. This is the final battle. Oh, man. Of course you will. So I give you that rare blood. Yo, is they gonna get a power up in this episode? Oh shit. Yikes! I wish they would open their eyes. Fudo is not for to help y'all get y'all bodies back. If anything, when he obtains the power of the gods, he's literally gonna give them the fucking power up from the fucking opening of XV. Like, you saw how the shadow, there was, uh, like, shadow beings between, uh, Vanessa, Millark, and Elsa. That's literally what's gonna happen. Fudo gonna bless them with the power instead of actually turn them back to humans. Yo, watch. I feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Before long, the power of the gods will be mine. Fuck this old nigga, bro. Fuck Fudo, bro. Yo. Yo, fuck this guy. Oh, wait, we still in Hibiki's conscious? I can't be your friend after all. Wait, what? Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck going on? Hold up. This big ass Shimha monster, whatever y'all want to call it. Divine, divine beast energy, whatever. Damn. All right, so what they finna do? How, how this finna work out? Philosophical weapon. それだけの出力を賄うことは無理であろうな。Nope. <laughs> but activating a relic of that size? Even with five of us, it's going to be tough. I knew it! The climax songs! They have to utilize it. That's the only chance they can do this shit. Oh boy. Oh shit. And then uh Yo, everybody's praying big time. Yo, my nigga Genjiro. Whoo! I hope this work out. Biki! Come on, Biki! Biki! Let's go. She gonna come back. I can feel it. She gonna come back. 
Fucking pyramid scheme attack again. I don't think that's gonna work on Carol. If it does, that's pretty bullshit. If it does work on Carol, that's some bullshit. Who will let anyone stop the divine power from being completed? Yo, let's go. I told you this means nothing to Carol. Yo, let's go. Carol, break through this right now. This means nothing. Oh shit. This bright ass light. What happened? <laughs> I simply sung. <laughs> oh man. That took a lot out of her. Ah, she utilized her own phonic game in order to help the girls out. Yo, she gave him X drive. Carol is literally an X drive trigger. What the fuck? Like again, I know Carol's OD, but I didn't know she could cause a chain reaction in order for them to utilize their X drives. And again, yo, this is only the eighth episode. This is only the eighth episode. Why do they have the S drives this early? What the fuck? Uh oh. Okay. Maria, Chris. Woo! Let's go. Okay. Damn. Change the future part two. Shit. Oh, this might be Final Commander. He's repairing his stuff again. Is that who I think it is? Is that who I think it is? Yo. Becky! Becky! Yes! I knew they wasn't gonna hold her out this episode. Come on, Beaky. Come on, Beaky. Come on, Beaky. Yes! He used it again! Let's go! The amalgam! Let's go! Let's go! Punch through it! Punch through it! Let's go! Let's go. Straight line. Yo. Let's go. 
All right. She actually got possessed by the fucking Shima. She got possessed by a fucking god. Yo, I, I, bro, what the fuck? They actually fucking did it. The foreshadowing in the first episode. Miku actually got possessed by a fucking god. And this is only the eighth episode. You got Carol coming back. Carol with a new song. Carol being the X drive trigger. The girls getting their X drive in this fucking episode. And it's only the eighth episode. And now Miku, after all the goddamn talks on Twitter, all the goddamn speculations, hell, myself, and all the comments that I got whenever I did a Sith Phone Gear video, they fucking came true. And not only that, Miku's foreshadowing in fucking episode one. Like, I'm happy Miku has another Sith Phone Gear. But why does she has to be possessed in order to utilize a fucking gear? Bro, why are y'all doing this to my precious Biki? Ibiki don't deserve this. Ibiki really don't fucking deserve this. Like, yo, I swear to God, if, if, if Ibiki ends up losing fucking Miku in this goddamn season, Oh man, this, I, wow, wow. Bro, the moment I saw Hibiki's hand wiggling a little bit, I'm like, yo, Gendro is literally about to fire Hibiki, bro. Like, he about to, yo, Hibiki about to just come through and help the squad. Like, I thought they was going to be able to take out that divine beast by themselves with their x try, but even without Hibiki, it wasn't enough. So the fact that Hibiki came through, mind you, her Sifo gear was getting fucking blown out. So the fact that she was able to utilize the amalgam like that? Holy shit, dog. Yo, like, again, each episode of XV, they're going in too fucking strong. This is another top five moment. Like, bro, we're only on episode eight. Yo, I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. I might as well just do top ten favorite moments of Sifo gear XV. Because, yo, the amount of shit they're doing in this goddamn season is ridiculous, bro. I, I ain't gonna front. They're doing too damn much. But, yo, I, I, I just really love that, you know, Hibiki literally came in with the amalgam and finished the job. And not, not only that, to the fact that the girls, bro, fucking Maria and Chris. Holy shit. Fucking, that, that wasn't changed the future, but holy shit. I got hella changed the future vibes to that goddamn attack they did. Bruh. Another thing I like about this episode is the fact that Carol can now freely talk to Elf Nine. Elf Nine can literally switch, like, personalities with Carol. Like, again, this is some Yu-Gi-Oh shit. This is like fucking Yugi and the Tim. Yo, this is fucking dope, bro. Like, Carol used too much power 
And she reverted back to Elf Knight. Like, yo, this is fucking dope, dog. Like, bro, holy shit. Like, the reference, yo, this this, this is too good. So, it's like, yo, if Elf Knight rest up, as well as Carol, Carol can literally come back and help the girls in case some more bullshit happens. But, yo, I'm glad now Carol is freely. Like, she, she can talk. She can at least talk. Like, in, in Elf Knight's conscience and whatnot. And also, I love the fact that, yo, we're seeing a more gentle side. We're seeing the true Carol. Not the Carol from GX that just wanted to destroy the world. But, like, we're seeing that she actually care for, you know, her auto scores. Like, that us, bro. She, she literally told Elf Knight, yo, at the end of this... Let's give them a proper burial. Like, that ass. I really like that. Carol is a fucking Sundari. But holy shit. We protect Elf Knight and Carol around these fucking parks. Okay, my nigga? Now, my thing is this. Now that Fudo pretty much betrayed Vanessa and them, I want to know, how is he for to add up into the later episodes? Like, is Fudo literally about to reveal himself? Like, oh yeah, me, I did this. I did all of this. Okay, yeah, like, I, I want I'm, I want to know, is this man really going to confess? And also to the fact that, you know, now that he pretty much betrayed Vanessa, no, like, does the control he has under Subasa is also gone? Since that is Miller Arc's ability alone, maybe, who knows, I don't know. But, you know, freaking, freaking Steel Invasion is literally Miller Arc's ability. So, if this man, like, dosed up the sickness that they have, like, does that mean Subasa loses, like, I mean, Fudo literally loses control of her, right? I don't know. That's just me. Like, let me know what y'all think about that. But I, I just want to know. I want to know how the fuck Fudo is for the reveal himself. And yo, I swear to fucking God, son. I, I'm saying, I'm still saying this to this day. If Genjiro does not get a scene where he fucks this old nigga up, I swear to God, son. I literally just want Genjiro to body Fudo. That's literally what I want. If y'all give me this. If y'all give me this, yo, this is the best fucking season ever. That ass. You already gave us so much. But yo, if y'all give us another Gendro highlight similar to when he fucking fought Fine in season one, yo, 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 like, man, look, man, I got a lot of speculations on my mind right now. Chill on me. Whoo. Other than that, that's all I got to say. Freaking Miku got possessed. Miku literally got possessed. I don't know what more I can say. She literally got possessed by a god. And she's literally being manipulated by a Symphone gear yet again. Like, I really want Miku to just have a Symphone gear. And she she has the full control of it. Not somebody controlling her. Like, that's literally what I want. But other than that, tell me how you guys feel about this episode. Uh, again... If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you guys, uh, you know, you're enjoying the content on this channel, be sure to smack that subscribe button. Again, yo, the fact that this episode was literally called XV, that's that's that shit, bro. Y'all, again, they're doing too much, bro. This is only episode eight. Like, we got like what? How many episodes now? Nah, I think like what? Hold on, hold on. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, five episodes left. Yo, man. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> but with all that being said, I'ma go, y'all. Peace. Push me to the